I know you guys are excited about Next Generation just as much as I am, and I want to do my biggest giveaway ever. I'm giving away an Xbox Series S to one lucky subscriber. If you want to win this Xbox Series S, all you have to do is follow me on this YouTube channel, follow me on my Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. I will pick a random person on November 10th when the console releases, and I will pick one, and I will send one to you. So, do those things if you want a freaking Xbox Series S. Que pasa to the pack it is pack here aka your mama's best friend and in today's little short discussion video i want to go over the graphics of nba 2k21 of the next generation and how some people have been arguing these graphics look the same and i want to address those people and kind of explain what's going on here because i've even been guilty of saying in, in videos that some of these players have the exact same, same like face models and they look the same as last year i've been guilty of that and people in the comments have called me out and i want to basically talk about what is specifically going on and why this is the case before the video starts so be an og join the pack and subscribe let's get into it so yes there are some players in this game i think the best example in my opinion is jimmy butler that looks exactly the same as last year like literally the face scan is almost identical there's other people that have this kind of problem kemba walker is another example of somebody that it basically was not updated at all jalen brown is another player that i think is another example that just looks almost exactly the same so let's be clear when i say this there are some players that straight up have the exact same face kind as last year that is a fact that is not an argument that is not me trying to be a d-bag trying to like mess with 2k and say that they're a bad game that is a fact that some of these players have the exact same face model as last year. That doesn't mean it looks worse because obviously the lighting has been improved dramatically. Plus the mouths of the players, the teeth, the tongue, their facial reactions, the way that the like lighting is shining off of their face in specific directions. All has been improved. Even in facial hair and hair has been improved. Another player like Luka Doncic, as you can tell, maybe it's the same face cam, but the facial hair is a lot more improved. So there are little improvements. But some of these players do have the exact same face models last year. This is the reason why, if you have noticed, all the people that we've complained about were in the bubble because uh, they were playing in the NBA playoffs. All of them, every single team. The teams that we haven't been complaining about, for example, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, who look crazy realistic, guess what? They weren't in the bubble. So they were able to go to 2K and get their faces remodeled for the game. There are players that look really good. Devin Booker looks great and really like, realistic and upgraded. He left the bubble early, so he was able to get a chance to get his face scan modeled. So there are players that got face scans updated. Those are the players that weren't busy in the playoffs trying to win championships. Everybody else weren't able to go and get their face models like redone. So that means that they're going to have the same face models last year because they never got the chance to do it. That's why, for example, Jimmy Butler looks exactly the same. And there's proof of that because Curry and Klay Thompson look updated. So clearly they're able to make these players look better. It's just that not everyone's been able to have the chance to do it. But another argument is that there's already players that look good anyways. As people are saying, for example, Rudy Gobert already looks realistic, so they never needed to upgrade him or touch him up or anything, which I disagree. I think mean, you can always upgrade him a little bit or touch him up a little bit, that's my opinion. Especially if you're on the next generation, you don't want to use the same face models as last year. But they've done that before. There's still face models from the PS3 on the PS4 that were used forever ago. So that's that's not even an impossible thing. But I am just saying that if there's some players that already look realistic, so why even update them? Still, in my opinion, they still could have touched up the face themselves hand-wise. They didn't have to go get their players scanned or didn't have to get... Like, for example, Jimmy Butler. You couldn't get him scanned. Why don't you go into your computer and model it himself? Yes, it's harder, but you can do it. It's not like it's impossible. I know it's maybe not the easiest work in the world, but still, that's something that they could have done. Plus, if they weren't ready to be shown, if they weren't ready to be scanned and prepared... Why are you showing it to us in the first place then? You should have just waited. But again, that's just my opinion. For all we know, all these players are going to get updated eventually when the game comes out. That could happen. At the end of the day, the thing that we all kind of agree is that at the end of the day, the graphics already look fine. The game already looks good. It does. The problem is the gameplay. And that's the thing that we care about the most. And that's the thing that they're hopefully working on and fixing. That is the most important part. So that's all I had to say about this. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree? Do you think it's just because they haven't been able to get their face scans done? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time.